how would you approach let's let's pick one example that you have maybe one from the course maybe another one um how would you approach such a problem divide and conquer or what's the solution okay so um whatever like I don't know, let's say I have a pressure vessel example in the course. Let, let's do this like, uh, because we, we've designed so many pressure vessels that when I close my eyes, I just see them. Uh, so uh, when I look at the problem, it's not the FEA that worries me. It's understanding what there is to be done. So I think that the most important skill that you learn at the course and that you have to develop and further deepen as an engineer is not where to click or even how to set it up. It's rather what to expect. So I look at the problem and I'm thinking like, okay, what can go wrong? Let's say this can buckle, that can buckle, this can yield. There will be a fatigue problem here, right? So this is why there are lessons like all the types of stability failure you can encounter, how they look, when they manifest. Like it's not FEA knowledge whatsoever, but you need to know that to do FEA because if you're not expecting something, you can miss it. And that's the biggest problem of nonlinear FEA. So I will teach you like, you know, there is a problem of sheer stability in shells, for instance. Mm. Very few people know this because, you know, like it would take a PhD <laughs> to know that, right? But like a lot of shells are built and then have to be strengthened because of this phenomenon. So it's good to kind of know it, right? And then like, so you have a lesson about it. And then you'll say like, okay, I'm looking at this problem. What could potentially go wrong, right? So the first phase would be let's understand like what the problem is and uh, in the course it's a bit easier because uh, this at the start could be extremely overwhelming like imagine i had a book in mathematical analysis in my university and they would do like examples and then tasks so you had like one task solved from start to finish and seven others you should follow and all the time during the example tasks, somewhere along the way, it was written as it is easy to see, and there was like equation equal equation. And you have no idea where this came from. It was like just slap, you know it or you don't, like get lost, idiot. And I know, so, so me doing an example, like let's do whole pressure vessel from the get-go, and you're like, oh, you know, it's easy because this will buckle, that will, like this will yield, and people will be like, oh, holy cow, like how? Right. So instead, each example focuses on one thing and I tell you up front what this thing is. So I'm saying like, this is an example when we worry about yielding. Let's take a look what will happen. Right. And this can happen, that can happen, whatever. And then the second difficult question is choices. It's not where to press, but what to choose. For instance, let's say that you are doing a stainless steel pressure vessel. Stainless steel is a fi very funny material. It has like a well-defined material model, but in FEA, it's not simple. There, there, there are difficult, tough choices nobody wants to talk about because FEA is too stupid to model Rambert goes good, good enough. You need to have like a linear portion of the chart, stress-strain chart. And it's not easy to say how inclined the line should be because it's like a beautiful nonlinear thing. You just need to change into a, a straight line. How to do that? Like, I know how to do it, but which one to choose from the angles you, are, you have there, right? So I'd say like, okay, how to approach the choice. And I'm so like, we won't do the choice. Let's do all the three possibilities or four, see what the outcomes are, and then we will discuss what the choice meant. So I do the same example several times. And I said, okay, let's, let's take a look at this outcome, that outcome. That, and you see, when we chose this, this happened. When we chose that, this happened. When we chose this, that happened. Which means that when I have this problem, I need to choose this. If I had that problem, I need to choose that and so on. So it's not even like clicking course about how to click nonlinear FEA would take me like two months. Uh, so maybe four or two years. Um, and uh, it, it would be just a few videos of like, you know, the whole class, please click here. Like, please enter 20, enter, right? And, and move on. But understanding why, what, when, in what cases, this is the, the, the thing that, that takes it. And when you finally have this, you know what you expect, what the problems you expect, because you learned the lessons and you know what the example is about. And then you know the choices you have to make in FEA. It's just, okay, now let's click it through. Mm -hmm. So there is like an example, like example has two parts. The first part is let's set up the model. I assume that many people will skip that because they will know how to set up a model. You can download the geometry anyway. They will just mesh it quickly and you know be ready. But if you don't know how to do it, there's like a video where I do it. 
And then let's focus on solving this several times and see what it goes. That's part, that part is actually easy. It's, it's the choices and understanding of the choices. That's, that's the difficult part. And in engineering, in real cases, I, this is actually how I approach things. So I will print a, a, a A4 picture of what I'm designing. I will look at it and make notes. Like this will be a problem. That will be a problem. I don't know how to solve it. I need to read about that. Let's not forget that there are like rubber seals here or whatever, right? And then I was like, okay, so this material model, that, whatever, whatever. And then I can go to my employee and say like, look, this is what we're doing. This is the geometry. Like, could you make like plates, this, whatever, mesh it, load it. And this is what we are after. And that part to me is easier because you kind of have the steps to follow. It's the, the figuring out of what to do and why that's, that's the most difficult part. Uh, and uh, this is why I'm focusing it on the course. The rest will come naturally. I 